excited coming off of uh, uh, really ex a standing victory. All victories are wonderful and exciting, but this one was something I think that that uh, really sparked the fire for us and really helped us uh, play with passion and energy and excitement. And we went on a, a 507 mile road trip and the kids seemed to really enjoy um, being together for that long a time and riding the bus. And it sure showed about the way we played uh, Saturday. We had great passion and great energy. And, we're really looking for the opportunity to play against a really, really good football team in, in Mesa, and they're undefeated. And, and uh, so we're, our work's cut out for us to go play um, on this Saturday at 2 o'clock. Uh, going up against Colorado Mesa, they have a new coach. Uh, so have you played against this team with a new coach yet? No, I, I, I just have met uh, uh, Coach Jackson through our coaches meeting, but I, I've never coached against him. Uh, so, just kind of going off the film you have of the team, because they didn't play last year, so you have the three games that they have, so what do you just know about them and the way the coaches? They, they played a couple games last year, but we, we didn't play, and so um, I, I do know they got a lot of Division One transfers and they're too deep. I know that um, they are very physical. Um, they're playing to what I would consider his style, and, and, and that's... Um, playing great defense, playing physical on offense, and have a big play capability. Their special teams are outstanding. They're, they're uh, kickers from Mott Rose, and he's really one of the best kickers in, in the country. And uh, but and I, I think that uh, they, they're they much improved, what you would consider, from any Mesa program that we've faced in the past because they are a lot more physical, and I think they've done a great job of recruiting outstanding athletes. You guys had a bit of a rivalry with CMU a few years ago, right? I mean, I don't know if it was kind of one-sided if you guys always win. Do you feel like that's kind of the way it ended up being the last few years? Is there still a rivalry with you guys? Do you see it that way? Well, it's an in-state game, and... Uh, Mesa um, and, and CSU Pueblo, we, we enjoy competing against each other. So if that means it's rivalry, it's a rivalry. And, and so um, I, I value the opportunity to see our kids go and compete against a high caliber team. And, and uh, our work's cut out for us. And, and we enjoy competing against in-state schools. Having such a dominating win, your highest um, scoring game this season, does that kind of set the tone or show your guys what they're capable of doing on offense going from this point on? I hope so. I really hope so because I think that there's an, uh, a way that we can uh, capitalize that, understand um, that was a little spark that started that fire, started the chance for us to really grow. Um, I, I think it was understanding you know, we, we play some really, really good football teams, and um, I think sometimes you need to respond throughout the season and manage the ebbs and flows of the season. And so it was really nice to see us play with passion, a little excitement, and, uh, you, you know, I, I think that's why you're able to go make some of the big plays that we're able to make. Do you think that was like, your first complete game of the season? Do you feel happy with that? All the three phases in the game. Yeah, I thought um, all three phases. I think all, all three phases got involved in, in winning the ball game. We blocked the punt. They tried to set up the first offensive touchdown. We had an interception uh, return for a score. And so that would all happen in the first quarter. And, and, and defense stopped, stopped on the fourth down. So that, that gives you a little confidence as you move forward.